Greetings. Greetings, 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 greetings. Welcome to Story Time with Dr. Helen Tinsley. It is Sunday, June 21st, Father's Day. And I want to wish a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. A blessed Heavenly Father's Day to my father and my grandfather, both of my grandfathers. Happy Father's Day to my son, Salim and Tariq, to my son-in-law, Satu, to my uncle, Kenneth, to my brother, Junie, to my cousin, Kenny, and to all the men in my sphere that I named or didn't name, the family, the friends, um, my Facebook associates that are fathers, and to all the men that have stepped up to the plate and are fathering children that are not their children, I wish you a happy Father's Day too. And to the men that continue to mentor children in our community, that's fathering on another level. So to all of you, I wish you a happy Father's Day. I want to start by giving a tribute to my father. My dad, he was the man. He would do anything for us. He was rough and tough. And, you know, the last of the hard rocks, he would read us the riot act, but he would do anything for us. And so I have two poems from my first poetry collection, uh, Spirit Rising Poetic Reflections, that was actually published in, wow, 20, 2008. And so I'm going to read these, start with these two poems to my dad. Hello, Carlton. And happy Father's Day to you, brother. So the first one is called The Man. As he gazed upon the photo on the table, he asked, who was that man? That man was the man. He was a man with a will of steel and a heart of gold, Mohawk fire spirit emanating from every pore, a self-made man. 10th grade education and jack of all trades, he was bad. That man would do it all, fearless, eager to take on a challenge. He would fix his car, his house, or his family trained many bosses and still suffered in the segregated society. That man traveled across the sea to Germany as a young man, 18 years young, to fight a war that wasn't his. Never shot a gun, but stood up against a white man calling him out of his name. He was one of the last of the hard rocks, rough around the edges and smooth inside. Doer's white label bringing out the frustration, pain, and sacrifice of his life. Soft-hearted, tender on the inside, rock hard on the outside. To guard, protect, prevent, misperceived weaknesses from being tried and tested. A strong black man who came through this path determined that whatever the need or challenge, to just do it. So that's the first poem tribute to my father. And then I have one more because my father was that kind of guy. And this is called My Dad. For Junior's G. Tinsley Jr., brother. He was affectionately known by everyone as brother. Strong, firm, and tall, seemingly fearless, he took on any task, no matter how big or small. Self-educated and learned by doing, an independent black man, farmed from, from the Virginia soil, nurtured the old-time ways. Strong, yet caring and loving dark hands nurtured him. Healing salves and sassafras tea kept him well. Popovers, chicken smothered in brown gravy, salmon cakes and grits made him strong. Love and family gave him purpose. A bright light guiding from the other side, an illuminated spirit, strong presence, connected spirit, leading, guiding, protecting from the other side. Live on, Ashe. So that was, those were tributes to my dad. And to my dad, happily, heavenly Father's Day today. Um, and again, happy Father's Day to all the men out here, as I said earlier. So with that said, we're going to begin with our stories for today with our song. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine in the stories that I read every day. Welcome. Hi, Carlton, Bonnie, and Aunt Carol. 
Hope you're having a wonderful day. So thanks to my Aunt Carol, who is logged on here as Diotha Tinsley. Code name Diotha, but we know it's Aunt Carol. No, thanks to Aunt Carol. She reached out to a friend of hers, Loretta Glasgow Allen, and told her that I was out of books uh, for story time, and she sent me a box of books, of children's books. So I'm so happy to be able to share picture books some more. So the first one is So Much by Trish Cook and illustrated by Helen Oxenberry. One of my favorite colors. So Much. They weren't doing anything, mom and the baby, nothing really. Then, ding dong, ooh, mom looked at the door, the baby looked at mom. It was auntie, auntie Biba. Auntie Biba came inside with her arms out wide, 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 and one big, big smile. Ooh. Ooh, she said, I want to squeeze him. I want to squeeze the baby. I want to squeeze him so much. And she sat the baby on her knee to play clap, clap, stamp your foot. Then she read him a book. Mmm. They weren't doing anything, Mom and the baby and Auntie Biba. Nothing, really. Then, ding dong. Hello, hello. Mom looked at the door. Auntie Biba, Auntie Biba looked at the baby. The baby looked at Mom. It was... Uncle, Uncle Dee Dee. Uncle Dee Dee came inside with his eyebrows raised high, 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 and his lips scrunch up small, small, small. Hello, hello, he said. I want to kiss him. I want to kiss the baby. I want to kiss him so much. Am I showing this right now? And he put the baby on his shoulders and it felt shaky, shaky. He flip flap him over till he nearly dropped him. Aye! They weren't doing anything, mom and the baby and Uncle Biba and Uncle Dee Dee. Nothing really. Then ding dong, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. Mom looked at the door. Uncle Dee Dee looked at Auntie Biba. Auntie Biba looked at the baby. The baby looked at Mom. It was... Hmm, I wonder who it was. Nanny. Nanny and Grand Grand. Nanny and Grand Grand came inside with their handbags cocked up to one side and their umbrella hook up to, on their sleeve. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo, they said. I want to eat him. I want to eat the baby. I want to eat him so much. They're all loving on this baby. And they hug him and they love him and they make him feel so cozy. Singing songs and dancing till it was time for sleeping. Zoo. They weren't doing anything, Mom and the baby and Auntie Biba and Uncle Dee Dee and Nanny and Grand Grand, nothing really. Then ding dong, hey, pow wow. Mom looked at the door, Nanny looked at Grand Grand, Grand Grand looked at Uncle Dee Dee, 
Uncle Didi looked at Auntie Beba. Auntie Beba looked at the baby. It was... Cousin. Cousin KK and Big Cousin Ross. Cousin KK came inside and he spin up his hat round and round. And he do like he riding horsey. Giddy up, giddy up. Hey, Pow Wow, he said, I want to fight him. I want to fight the baby. I want to fight him so much. And they wrestle and they wrestle. He pushed the baby first. The baby hit him back. He give the baby pinch. The baby give him slap. And they laugh and laugh and laugh. Ha, ha, ha. And the house was full, full, full. And they sit down there waiting for the next ding dong. They wait and they wait, but it never come. Mom said, is everybody all right? And the baby and cousin start to fight again. Nanny and Grand Grand took out cards and dominoes. Uncle Dee Dee starts to slap them down on the table. And Auntie Beba plays some records real loud. Mom said, what craziness all around. They weren't doing anything, Mom and the baby and Auntie Beba and Uncle Dee Dee and Nanny and Grand Grand and Cousin KK. Nothing really. Then, ding dong, I'm home. And everybody stopped. Mom picked up the baby. Mom picked the baby up and they all wait by the door. And I wonder who was at the door this time. Surprise, everybody said. And mom said, happy birthday, daddy. And everybody joined in. Then daddy rubbed the baby's face against the whiskers on his chin. And mom brought in the food that she had been cooking. Everybody enjoyed the party, and when it was time for them to go, and everybody tired, the baby wanted to play some more. Mom said no. She put him to bed. But she put him to bed, but the baby played bounce, bounce with Ted, played bounce, bounce in his crib. And he remembered everybody saying how they wanted to squeeze and kiss and eat and fight him. Because they loved him so much. And that, my dear friends, is the story So Much by Trish Cook. I love that story. And I hope you enjoyed it today. So hello to everyone here. Hi, Regina Bell. How are you, sweetie? And Aunt Carol, I remember my mom, my mom used to do that. And she also used to stretch her arms and say, how big is the baby? Like that. But I hope you all enjoyed the story. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. It's hot here, but I'm grateful. My plants are loving the heat and the, the moisture outside. And um, we were blessed to see another day. So I'm grateful. And 
Uh, we'll be here with you tomorrow, same time, same place, for story time with Dr. Helen Tinsley. Enjoy your day. Mm -hmm. Peace. You're welcome.